Ron, thank you for coming. I know it's probably not the most comfortable uh, situation to be in. Hey, man, I killed Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> This may sound sarcastic, but I'm actually being sincere. Um, it looks good. The people that you have on there look good. But I don't know if you've looked. These guys aged really well. <laughs> I told my fiance here, if she didn't stop looking at Terry Carter over here, we'd be in separate rooms tonight. But uh, the bonus is these guys can actually act. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not trying to be the question I have is how much serious consideration, and you said, you know, being honest here, did you give to somehow incorporating? these actors who we love and who, not to patronize you, but we owe you, Richard, so much for how much work, and how, much, how much love, how much love and how much effort you put in to keeping this alive, to keeping the idea of Galactico alive, blood, sweat, and tears. Ron, it's a slap in the face that he was not taken into consideration seriously. And when this miniseries fades away, and if it becomes a series, when that fades away after 13 episodes like Galactica 1980, <laughs> I hope you will consider what some of us said here today, that there could have been a correct way to making this happen. And I just want to know how seriously you consider bringing some of these people from the cast into the series. OK, I mean, let's, let's, let's be very clear. We wouldn't be here today unless Richard Hatch had done the things Richard Hatch has been doing. Right? And all the actors would be there would be, I wouldn't be standing up here today about this project if not for Richard and if not for the actors involved in the original series. When I came to this project, the idea of a continuation with the original cast, with some members of the original cast, and continuing the story of Galactica had already gone through the process and had died a death at uh, Universal and Sci-Fi and UPN or Fox. I kind of forget which network was about Fox. All that had happened before I came aboard. I was asked, what do you want to do with Galactica? And I said, OK, this is what I want to do with it. Now, at that point, they were free to say no. They could have said, no, we're interested in, in going this other direction. But they said no. They said, yes, go do it. So I went and I did it. Um, I don't make any apologies for that. I mean, that's, if I asked you what you want to do with Galactica, your answer would be something different than mine. But I was the guy that was asked. And I was the guy that sat in the room and had to come up with the idea and had to come up with the prompt with the, the approach to the material. And I had to give it my best shot at what I thought I could do with it. And when they agreed to do that, you know, I went forward with it. I have nothing but good things to say about the original show. I have nothing but good things to say about Richard Hatch and the efforts that he made down through the years. I had an opportunity to see Richard's uh, trailer for The Second Coming, and it's a remarkable piece of work. It's great. Um, but I'm the guy that's doing the show. You know? And this is the choice that I made, and I stand by that choice. Yes, the young man in the back. <laughs>
developed an incredible appreciation that now comes from being on the other side of the camera. And watching this, it's not even a question of what's good, what's bad. I mean, I, I really admire your bold uh, vision to actually have the courage to take your ideas and not compromise, not play games. It wasn't about, I'm going to try to, um, you know, pull my punches so that I, I show a little bit of my creativity, but I'm not going to go too far because I don't want to alienate anybody. I think if you're going to go there, you got to go there. And you had the boldness and the strength to actually commit to that vision, whether it stands or falls, will be the wide audience of this world. Once people have a chance, same for me, to get over my uh, involvement, my heartfelt love for this show, to be able to look at this objectively, I think I'll be able to admire and value what you have here a lot more when I can get a couple steps removed. But just even from this place, I can see that you have a bold vision, that you're an incredibly talented man, um, and you have a lot to say. And I honor that. Why did I decide to take it? I spent like a, a weekend thinking about it when I first got the call. I first got the call from David Ike, who became a, my producing partner on this project, and he called and asked me what I, if I was interested in doing it. And I wasn't sure that I wanted to go back into uh, this particular genre. And I thought about it over the weekend, and I got a copy of the pilot, the original pilot, and sat down and watched it. And it touched me. I mean, there was something in the original that I thought was really interesting that I was interested in exploring. When I watched the original, here was this dark, dark show. You know, it was a very dark premise. Wipes out a civilization in the opening minutes of, of this thing, and these people flee into the night and hope that they will find a shining planet called Earth. And I was touched by that. And I think when I viewed that, when anybody views that story, I think in the world we live in today, you look at it in different terms. And you look at it in terms of, that could be me. You know, what if that happened to me? What if my world collapsed one day in some nightmarish way? And what would happen to me? And what would happen to the world that I know? And what would happen to the people I know? And everything about my, my world. And what would I do? And what would the person beside me do? And what if it was just the people in this room survived? You know, and how would we get along? And those ideas intrigued me. And so that's why I, why I took the, the project. I thought, well, those are stories I want to tell. I just have one question, and I'm sure everyone else noticed this. A lot of the characters that we come to love, like Starbucks, you've changed the gender on completely. And I was wondering what made you decide to do that? Well, I have sort of two answers to that. One is the more complicated, long, rational answer about, oh, X, Y, and Z, women, and film, and sort of fighter pods. The simple, truer answer is, it was the, just the first thing I thought of, and I thought it was cool. <laughs> it's that simple. It was the first weekend, and when I was coming up with what I wanted to do with it, I was thinking about stuff, and I thought, and what if we made Starbuck a woman? What would that do? And it would change it up, and it would just make it a different relationship and a different dynamic. And I sort of fell in love with it as a writer, and sometimes you write things that you can't always give a rational explanation for. Now, I can give you a long, rambling, rational explanation of why I think it helps the, the the show, why I think it's an interesting twist on a traditional relationship, and why I don't think that we could have recreated Dirk Benedict in any format, because I think Dirk Benedict defined that character, and the way he played it. I'm sorry, I think, I think that if we cast Starbuck as a man, I doubt that there's an actor out there that could have played Starbuck and been accepted. And in a way, if you make it a woman, at least it's a whole different thing. And it's not a man trying to imitate Dirk Benedict, which I think is just doomed to failure. Thank you. 
considered turning Apollo into a woman, and I just did. I, and again, I thought it was an interesting change up in a, what I thought was a very traditional relationship between two guys. And I You might be right. Look, you know, I knew going in that that was going to be the most controversial decision I made up front. Because I made that decision before the Cylon backstory and the rest of the other creative decisions that were made. Like I said, it was one of the very first things I thought of. So I always knew that that was going to be a chance. And maybe that's a chance that doesn't work. But I think it will. And I think it does. And, you know, what can I tell you? It's just one of those things. It's all very subjective. And you may like it, you may hate it. But, you know, it's just... Sure, sure. Well, I'd like to thank you all for your questions, and I'd like to thank you very much for joining us. That was really incredible.